What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Iron Banner rank 5 loot from last week on all three of my characters. So Iron Banner has finally come to an end once again and it was a new playlist this time around. It was Rift and in my first video when I previewed Rift for Iron Banner in the beginning of the week, I thought it was going to be pretty difficult for some of the solo players that don't have teams to play with. But it wasn't too bad of an experience. I actually tried playing solo a couple of times and it wasn't too bad of an experience. I think that had mainly to do with the connection based matchmaking that Bungie was trying to implement uh, during last week's Iron Banner event. So that definitely helped the experience for solo players just because you weren't going up against like sweaty teams over and over and having a lot of lag involved as well. So I thought Iron Banner wasn't that bad last week and I think what would be even better going forward in future Iron Banner events is possibly have multiple playlists rotate throughout the event throughout the week so maybe you could have control clash rift maybe even zone control or stuff like that throughout the week and have different game modes throughout the whole playlist of Iron Banner over the course of the week's event so that would be pretty interesting in my opinion uh, something they could possibly look at or do going forward but that's my opinion and let's get straight into my rewards for the week starting off with my first character on my warlock from my rank 5 package we ended up getting ourselves a iron shell and an iron wreath d sidearm so i usually get a sidearm every time iron banner comes around i don't know why but i always get one of these and this one came in at 316 with last resort and spray and play as the two perks and some high caliber rounds hand loaded down the middle so uh, not the greatest perks for the sidearm in my opinion but uh, still pretty good 316 is a really decent uh, attack value drop I can use it for infusion if I don't want to keep it moving on to my second iron banner rank 5 package of the week on my titan we ended up getting ourselves the Iron Banner rocket launcher called Tormod's Bellows. So this is the year 2 rocket launcher compared to the Radagast Fury from year 1. And the stats on this one looks pretty decent, although the perks I got were not the greatest. So I ended up getting uh, Grenadier and Spray and Play as my two perks. If I did get Grenade and Horseshoes, I'd definitely use this in Crucible. Uh, because it looks really good in terms of the velocity and blast radius. So in the future if he sells it or if I get one in a future package, i definitely keep it. Finally, for my last rank 5 package of this event on my Hunter, we ended up getting ourselves the Daedrus' Retort Shotgun, the one that was sold in the previous Iron Banner event. And it came in at 319, so a pretty high drop on that one. But the perks were kind of poor. I got surrounded and close and or personal. However, down the middle, I did get Rifled Barrel, which improves the range quite a bit. So, I don't know how the range compares to the Conspiracy or Party Crasher if I have Rifled Barrel on it. But it looked pretty decent, so I might try it out, even though the perks weren't the greatest. Uh, so, yeah. But that's about it for this Iron Banner. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Let me know what you guys got for your packages or what you thought of Rift Iron Banner overall. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.